Uh, so my name is Christina Wong. I'm the Director of Product Marketing at NewODB. We are a member of Mass TLC and uh, we are you know, highly involved in the tech community. So NewODB has been designed to appear to the application just like it, a normal operational database would because it means that they don't have to rewrite their application as they move into the cloud. Uh, they get the same type of uh, communication with the database um, and expectations about relational models uh, that they would you know, with their original database, but when they move to the cloud, they also can get, they can get those scale out continuous availability or active active cloud type benefits. Um, what we have at NewODB is a general operational database. Uh, applications these days are more distributed in nature. You deploy them out on the multiple environments like cloud, traditional data center, or wherever else. And um, traditional monolithic databases like an Oracle database or Microsoft SQL Server weren't really designed for that type of deployment. They were designed for client server systems. You don't want slow data access to be something that messes up you know, the user experience of the application. There's lots of different applications out there, right? There's applications for um, like Internet of Things or streaming media. Um, there's financial applications. There's telecommunications. There's, you know, there's applications that do like all sorts of different things, right? And so all those different applications have different data needs. In terms of a streaming media type of application, you need you know, constant data transfer back and forth from the application to the data store and it needs to be reliable and it can't be interrupted. If you're in like an e-commerce situation, you need to be able to have a database which can respond to spikes in demand. So whether you have a slow day or a, a high volume day, you need it to be able to perform. You can have a lot of different types of data coming in from different devices. It can be collecting anything from like, I don't know, temperature, monitoring, usage, whatever else, right? And you need to make sure that that transaction is verified and validated and confirmed and true and accurate, that you can trust the data that you see. Um, something like a general operational database can be a good solution for that. Anytime that you use something like um, you know, Oracle database or Microsoft SQL Server, which are like the most well-known operational databases out there, um, you could consider NuaDB, especially if you're moving into the cloud.